You have come here to create the life of your dreams and to live the life of your dreams. You did not come here to live a life that is 50% or 60% or 70% of what you desire. You have come here to live life to its fullest. And in order to do that, in order to move into this state, there are a few key principles and a few key points that when you do them, when you truly practice them, you will automatically move into this 100% reality of what it is that you desire. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Please hit the like button while we're at it. Please subscribe and please affirm right now down in the comments, I am a master manifester. I am a master manifester. Comment down below, let's go. Hey Inspire Tribe, how's it going? It's John here. It's Christine here, welcome on the Inspire channel. And today we're going to talk about three key principles to create your new reality. And I'm talking about the life of your dreams, not just something that is halfway there, something that feels okay or feels better than now. We are talking 100% and there should never be less in your mind than 100%, okay? This is how it is. Don't settle for less than you can be, do, and have. Why should we? And one of the most common things that people say is, oh, you know what, I'll put it in the hands of God, I'll put it in the hands of the universe, and if it's meant to be, then it'll happen, and if it isn't meant to be, I used to say that all the time. But I realized something. If I am a powerful manifester, if I'm the master manifester of your life, of my life, and if I am the creator, because I was created from source energy, so if I'm operating with the same princi principles, and if I'm operating with the same laws and the same powers here, then why would I yield this to a so-called external entity? God's mind is your mind. Your mind is God's mind. You're working in complete unison. So if you say, I'm going to leave it to something or someone else, then all of a sudden you let go of the beautiful energy that you have for your desire. So no, not if it's meant to be. If it's my true authentic desire, then here I am manifesting it and 100% of it, okay? So we're gonna start with number one, a key principle that is very, very important, that is the most important thing, to realize what it is that you really, truly, authentically desire, okay? And of course, that's usually not just one thing, but there's one key desire that is so dominant in your vibration right now, something that your mind goes to a lot, something that you desire really intensely. That's the one key authentic desire right now. So just make sure that you really truly define it for yourself, what that is, okay? You have to be clear about it because if it's not clear, it's foggy. And if you are foggy, then foggy is what you're gonna get. If you're clear, clear is what you're going to get. Clear is what you are attracting. So truly become clear about your desire and make a statement, make an I am statement. I am in the state of perfect health, if that is what it is. I am in a loving, wonderful, beautiful relationship. I am abundant, wealthy, prosperous, and rich. Put it down in a clear statement, okay? So that is the key principle. Without that, there's nothing to create because you don't know what you, exactly you are creating. And you would be surprised if people are asked the question, well, what do you want in life? Most people will start to tell you what they don't want. They will start to tell you all the states that they do not appreciate, do not enjoy, and don't desire in your lives. But as Mother Teresa always said, she never ever was ever be convinced to do anything against something, okay? If someone said, are you going to join our protest? No, she would never do it. She would lovingly decline. As soon as someone said, are you going to support us in our desire to create this? So it was pro something. It was concrete, there was a concrete desire. It was for something, she was on board. If it lined up with her desires and with her principles. So that's why we say quit focusing on the stuff that you don't want, you have realized what that is. Shift your attention to what it is that you do want. Put it down, what you do desire, okay? That's the principle number one. Principle number two 
that is super important is that you start detaching from your current physical reality. And what does that mean? It means that there are things happening around you, there is procedures, there are routines, all of that, and they might very well still be in place for a short little while, but it doesn't mean that you have to get emotionally involved in those daily things. It means pull your energy out of the things that are happening around you. Truly pull your attention out of those situations. You can be present without being emotionally invested in a situation. Because if you want to change your reality, if you want to see a new personal reality, you are starting to change your personality. Okay? If you want to change your personal reality, then you are changing first and foremost your personality. Understand that when you are moody, that when you get angry, that when you react to gossip, that when you do all those things that do not line up with what you desire and with the person that you are when you are living all of your desires, then you can pull your attention from that. Simply move away from those states, those low vibing, low frequency states that are not giving, that are not thriving, that are not uplifting, that are not exhilarating. Detach from your current reality emotionally. On an emotional level, pull out your energy. Doing this alone will help you to create a shift. And here's the thing, when you detach from something, then you're letting go. But then there has to be an aim. Where are we going? If we're pulling our attention from here, where are we putting our attention to? And this leads us directly to the third key principle, which is living from the end. What does living from the end mean? It's solely an inner process at first, okay? Completely an inner process. And it means that there is a difference between visualizing and living from the end. If you visualize, you can see yourself you can see yourself doing something or you can see yourself experiencing something and it has a certain power to it. But visualization, just in the very um, common sense of the word, has its limitations. But living from the end means that you are moving into the state of your desire fulfilled. And this is way deeper than what it sounds at the beginning. It doesn't just mean to you know, practice with affirmations and I'm already this. It's way deeper than that. It means that you dedicate your time and your attention, that you dedicate your awareness to your new state of being. Ask yourself the question, who am I with my wishes and desires fulfilled? How am I reacting to life? How am I reacting to uh, uh, this situation when I am the person living my desires and wishes fulfilled. And you will see that the answers are different than the answers were just yesterday. And how are you reacting to situations in your life when you are a millionaire, a billionaire, when you are perfectly healthy, when you're living in a beautiful relationship, when you're living in the house of your dreams? How are you reacting to life? How is life around you? When you live in the live from the end in the state of your wishes fulfilled, what does it taste like? What does food taste like? What does it feel like? What am I thinking? How am I moving around? What are my means of transportation? To live from the end means to put yourself in the state, a new isness. It's wonderful how our teachers from the other side always invent new words. It's a new isness, a new reality. And who are you in that new reality? It is almost like when you put yourself in that state, and it is almost like in that new state, you are looking back in time to the present you. And this is kind of what we're getting at. If you look, if you put yourself in the state of your wish and desire and dream fulfilled, then you have embodied it completely. Mind, body, soul is now in the state. You are completely immersed into that new reality. And then from this state, you can look back in time and you will send yourself, the self in this current reality, all the suggestions, ideas, all the principles, 
maybe just little hunches. And then you will act on those hunches. So this living from the end should needs to become your daily practice until you embody that reality completely. And here's the thing. Don't talk about it to other people. Don't explain yourself because you will get all kinds of arguments and you will get all kinds of reasons why this isn't working. But this is a complete yes or no situation. When you jump out of a plane, then you must be dedicated. You must know this is what you want to do, okay? You have that backpack with the parachute, you know what is going on, but you either jump or you don't. There's no in between. So when you are creating a new reality, it's either a yes or no situation. And when your decision is yes, then your soul attention, dedication, loving, beautiful awareness moves into this new state, living from the end. So you become what you desire to be in the now fully. It doesn't matter if it looks foolish to other people. It doesn't matter if all of a sudden your new manners, your new way of thinking, of talking, puts people off because they're not used to it. Don't worry about them. They will want you to stay the same because it's more comfortable to them. But that's not what you desire. You desire your new reality. Become that new you. It's a new personality. You create a new personality for a new personal reality. And those are the three key principles. I really, really encourage you to start implementing them now, not tomorrow morning, not in a week, not start on Monday. Right now, start with the first principle of really figuring out what it is that you desire. Really make it very clear. Then principle number two, decide and really dedicate yourself to detaching from your current reality emotionally, which means not giving anymore about the things that are going on. Pull your emotions out. And then key point number three, live from the end. You are becoming this new version of you that you desire, okay? This is it, this is happening right now. The first thing that will happen is you will feel incredible feelings and incredible rushes of energy, inspiration. You have now opened the proverbial box of the Pandora, but it is a beautiful, wonderful, amazing box, okay? It is wonderful and there is an infinity of light and energy that comes from that box. So open it, like blow off the lid. It is happening now and you are ready for it. If you weren't ready, you wouldn't have clicked on this video. You wouldn't be watching this message right now. You wouldn't be feeling this feeling of inspiration right now. So you are definitely ready. This is happening now. Inspired Tribe, if you're as inspired as I am speaking to you, please hit the like button. Please share it with your friends. Please subscribe. Please comment down below. I am a master manifester. And if you want to make it even a little more beautiful, I am an inspired master manifester. Today's the day, right now, you are ready. We love you guys. As always, we're wishing you an inspired rest of your day.